today I'm going to be showing you how to needle fell a rose and this is a great gift for someone for Valentine's Day or for an anniversary. So the first thing you need is a pipe cleaner, some red and green felting wool, a felting mat and a felting needle. So to start off with uh, you're going to get your pipe cleaner and fold it in half. And then we want to twist the pipe cleaner, but we want to leave a loop at the top. So it's probably easier if you just uh, watch this next bit, as it will make a bit more sense. So as you can see here, I've just got that loop at the top. And the rest of the pipe cleaner that is twisted is going to make the stem of the rose. And then I'm just going to make sure those end bits are just folded over because sometimes they can be sharp. So we don't want that sticking out the bottom at all. So the next thing you want to do is felt along the stem. So to do this you're going to get a section of your green felting wool and just wrap that around the twisted portion of your pipe cleaners and then you just want to felt that wool in place so the best thing to do is felt either side of the pipe cleaner because otherwise there is a risk of you breaking your felting needle if you felt directly onto the pipe cleaner itself and you want to repeat this process uh, of felting the green wool um, to further up so that the whole stem is covered in green. So I'm just going to do that now. So once you've done that it should look something like this and now I'm just going to fold over the wool on the end just to make sure that the pipe cleaner is not sticking out the bottom. So once that is complete the next thing is to get your red wool and we're going to wrap this around the loop section of the pipe cleaner and this is going to make the centre of your rose and then you're just going to felt that in place making sure not to felt directly onto the pipe cleaner itself and here is what it should look like once you've done that so now we're going to start felting the petals so I'm just going to fold some of my red wool into a petal shape and then that is the right size so it's good to judge it by holding it up against the bud of the rose and then once that's done I'm just going to felt that so it holds its shape but leave the fibres loose on the bottom part of the petal as this is how we are going to attach it to the bud of the rose and then I'm just going to felt those loose fibres onto the base of the bud of the rose as I'm just doing here and that just attaches the first petal so now you want to repeat this process again another two times so that the bud of the rose is surrounded by three petals in total and this is what it should look like once you have done that so now we just want to keep on adding more petals and these need to be slightly larger than the first petals that we've just done. So you also want to felt the petals to cover the gaps of the first initial petals. So as you can see this petal once felted will be positioned here on the row so it's over that gap. So just felt that petal like you did before and then just attach it onto the rows. And now I'm just going to repeat that process twice more to cover this gap and this gap here. And this is what your row should be looking like once you've done that. So we just need to add another three petals which are larger than the second 
three petals to cover those gaps again like we did before. So basically what you're doing is repeating the same process each time just making the petals bigger. And now I'm just going to use some scissors to trim all the loose fibres from the rose just to make it a bit neater. And then this is the finished result. So if you have any questions about making this rose, please just leave them in the comments section below. And I'll be back next week with a new video on felting. Don't forget to like and subscribe.